Hello and welcome to another episode of Ken Training. Today's training, what we're going to do is repair a water line on a refrigerator. This is a DIY project, so the purpose of this video is to give you, the DIYer, the training and expertise and knowledge so that if you have a similar type of a uh, problem in your own house that you'll be able to uh, make the repair rather than call in a service technician to make the repair. So what happened was, is uh, I'm in the kitchen right now. The refrigerator is right here behind me. I've already pulled it out from the opening right over here. And what happened was, is I went to get some water and, no, and I could hear the solenoid valve open and uh, trying to dispense water, but no water was coming out. And at that point in time, I knew that the um, the way that these refrigerators, the water works, is that they use uh, quarter-inch plastic tubing most commonly. And right where the compressor is, and it's a hot compartment, and over time it gets brittle and it breaks, and I'm sure that's the issue. The only thing that I haven't discovered so far is exactly where the break is. Um, so that's what we're going to try to discover on our own. So let me show you a couple details about the project. By the way, if you have uh, run across this and you've repaired it, uh, if you could leave some 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 comments down below, you know what your procedure was, what te uh, materials did you like? In case I use, uh, did you like a material better than what I'm using? Love to hear your comments about how often this is happening to you and how we as homeowners and people that have water for our refrigerators can stop this from happening. Um, this refrigerator is, by the way, I should mention, uh, I think it might be 15 years old. I actually don't know the exact date of manufacture. Uh, I'm gonna show you the, uh, the uh, data nameplate right now, so maybe it says it right on it. All right, so here's the refrigerator. Just looking at it on the front, you can see that it is a GE profile. And of course, like most refrigerators, we have pictures. We've got some dogs up here. There's our dog right there, Tigo. There he is sitting on the couch. Right, Tigo? All right, let's look at the, uh, oops. When I pulled the refrigerator out, I guess this water bottle came out. Uh, let's see, where's the data nameplate? Alright, so the data nameplate is in the refrigerated compartment up on the ceiling, and there is your information. So we know that it's General Electric Company. We see the model number, we see the serial number right there, and we see the refrigerant is uh, R134A right there, but what we don't know is the age. But there's the data nameplate information. When I took this plate off, thinking that the data nameplate might be on uh, inside behind this plate, I'm just noticing that there's a lot of dust there. So I'm thinking to myself, as long as I'm pulling this refrigerator out, I'm also going to give this a nice uh, cleaning and get some compressed air with my air compressor and blow everything out. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is demonstrate what prompted this whole thing. I have my water selection switch set to to, to water and let me put the light on here and then I take my cup and now listen real closely and you'll hear the water valve open but no water dispense alright so if you heard that you can hear the water valve open but no water is dispensing come back here uh, actually it's not there look here I got some water right there on the floor I wonder if it was shooting out there at the front. Let me try that one more time. No, it's not coming out there. So we still got to find this water leak. It's not coming out here and I can hear the water valve opening. I've already pulled it out and I got a towel here to dry out the water that was on the floor already. And I still have the water valve open right there. Now, look at that right there. You can see that dripping right there on the floor. All right, so I want to take this back cover off, and I got a few tools here. And what I did was, is I already pulled out the uh, the screws that hold this um, cardboard uh, uh, shield in. Uh, these are beneficial because 
they channel the airflow the way the manufacturer wants it to be channeled. So if it's uh, coming out, uh, which in this case it is coming out because I can feel it coming towards me, uh, I guess they don't want it to come in that they want the air to be drawn in through the front of the refrigerator and then pushed out here rather than go in this way and back out this way so these do serve a purpose and you do want to put these back on alright let me uh, pull this thing out alright let's pull this off You can see that some of this is insulated. There's a lot of moisture right here at the bottom, so the water leak is definitely right here. Let me just get this off to the side for now. And let's take a look. All right, here's the water line here. And I've got a flashlight here to try to get as much brightness in there as possible. And I still got the electricity on. I might pull a plug in just a sec. Oh, there it is right there. So there's my brake. And so here's the water coming in to the refrigerator, coming down. Then it's going to this. Uh... All right, so what I did was I put the refrigerator on top of a piece of masonite so I could try to work with the refrigerator uh, and protect the floor a little bit and because that water line goes under here and on this side what I did was is I used a uh, crowbar uh, like this here and um, and a piece of wood with this here like this and I was able to uh, lift this up and put a couple of two by fours underneath then what I did was is I was trying I'm trying to follow the water line and, okay remember I'm trying to follow that broken water line and then that broken water line is this line right here I, I grabbed my wife's mirror put it on the floor here and then using the light you can see the water line right there and then follow and bringing this down you can see that the water line goes into the refrigerator right there so then the one that I want is this one over here, the one that's closer to, 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 the, um, to the back side right there. So let me show you where I found that water line. I had to take out the bottom drawer of the refrigerator and that line is right here. Those two line sets are right here. So the one that I want is this line right here that's a line that we're following and you'll notice that there's a um, a break right there for a coupling so this way I can replace from here down to the um, solenoid valve and that there is just the water that feeds the um, let me take out this other drawer that takes out I mean that that water line is is what's feeding this reservoir for the cold water for the refrigerator Okay, so here is that water line that we want to replace. So what I'm going to do is just take some uh, my diagonal side cutters here, just cut a piece of this um, this uh, tubing out here. So this way I can take this to the uh, Home Depot and match that up, which I'm sure is quarter inch tubing, but just because I don't do this every day, I want to make sure I get the right one, and I'm just going to take this and match it up. Okay, I'm back from the Home Depot. Here's the tubing that I ended up purchasing. And you can see that it is a perfect match. Thank God I brought that piece in to match it up. This was the size that it ended up being. And uh, so it was a 5 16 inch OD. And this is the price that I paid at the uh, Home Depot. So 256 out the door. Thank you very much. And I expect to just use these tools here, some white electrical tape or any black, white, whatever. I just happen to have some white here. White electrical tape and I should be able to fish it through. So um, now that I got everything good to go, uh, first thing I want to do is uh, disconnect that water line inside. 
so I can fish, uh, so I can uh, bring it through and fish it through. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I cleaned up the uh, um, in his side here with just some um, kitchen spray and some paper towels. So that's all taken care of. Now I want to make a break right here because this is the line that I want to replace. Um, and that's it. So I got these tools right here. Oh, no, excuse me. I did, that was the wrong tool. I want to get my other tool. Hold on. All right, with these two tools here, I should be able to uh, accomplish this. I might even be able to do it by hand, but I'm not 100% sure. Let me just try holding the top center nut here. Yeah, it looks like I can get this pretty much by hand. There it is. Okay. So, now what I'll do... There. Now, I guess what I can do is just um, feed this down and then, and then feed the new one down and then just try to tape it uh, down below. All right, there we go. I got it unraveled. Let me try to push it down. And there it goes. All right. I should be able to capture that on the other side. So let me go work over there. And then we're going to reuse this cap here. All we have to do with this cap is just pull this thing through. Either this way or that way. I'm not sure which way to go. Let me try to pull it out this way. Ah, there we go. So there's the cap. Oh, there's the cap there that will get reused there. Let's go find this line underneath, and then we'll connect the other side first. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to feed it through on my own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, join these two together and fish it through by pulling from one side to the other. So I'm going to try this technique which hopefully it'll just pull right through and I'm not going to have an issue. So let's try this. All right. So I'm going to pull this through. There we go, we got it. Alright, so now that we're through the refrigerator here. I'll snip this here. And we'll go ahead and connect this side, that brand new connection on the other side. All right, this is the line right here where my finger is at. This is the one we need to disconnect in order to connect this uh, new water line that I just ran. Now they had a, a heat shield here on the uh, the old line to help keep in this line protected from heat. So um, I want to make sure that I just simply take this heat shield and just put it down through it like so and make sure that that gets reused uh, when we do this job. Alright so right now I'm just going to put this new water line to the side and I'm going to try to take this line here and see if I can't turn it to the left. It's a little hard to get this 100%. See if I can do it this way. It's one of these things that once you get started, I got it started. All right, let me see if my fingers are on it. So a little hard to show you because it's such a tight tight space but this is the one that I'm doing right here just that it's a refrigerator all right there it is there's the part that I uh, took out so uh, all we have to do is uh, take that out of there 
sometimes when you squash these down they fat out on this side so I might have to uh, pull it through uh, that way so let me try that out fine. Now just got to make sure you put it in the right way when I go to put it back in. Obviously this has to go towards the solenoid valve so this goes in like that. And you can only put it in one way anyways because there's no threads on on this side so it has to go in this way no matter what. So make sure you're seeing that. Alright so here is the uh, the end cap and I just uh, show you how it just simply uh, slides on here and I want that to slide on uh, to the um, solenoid valve as much as possible uh, when I go to thread it on but that's basically what that whole thing looks like okay now I gotta put it on to the uh, solenoid valve alright this is the part right where my finger is touching that's the where the water valve solenoid valve is this is this that's what we're going to connect on to so we just want to take this line here which is a little hard to do hold on and we want to fit that on there as, tight, as uh, high as possible in there I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have to put this camera down for a second I can't do it and hold the camera I'm going to see if I can pull this valve out so you can actually see the part that I'm doing here. It's so tight in there. Alright, hopefully you can see this. But basically I'm just sticking this in there as, as tight as possible. Get that in there as tight as I can, then bring this in. Make sure the heat shield doesn't get bother me. Pull that down for a second. And then while I'm holding that plastic in, put this on hand tight. There we go. And then I'll cinch it up with this wrench. This is just plastic, so you don't want to go crazy here. You just want to be tight so that you cannot come down. I'm going to bring up the uh, heat shrink as much as possible. I mean, not heat shrink, but this um, heat protector product, heat shield product to help protect that plastic line. And we're nice and secure. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this back in with those two screws that I took out. Alright, now I'm just checking with the uh, mirror to see where that water line, the new water line resides. And I can see, hold on, stupid light fixture. I can see that it is residing underneath this uh, there's like a cardboard thing here so it's it's protected so when I bring this down off the blocks I don't have to worry about it uh, getting crushed or anything like that so and I can see that it's going uh, right into where the old line so now let's go make up that connection on the other end okay this is the new water line we need to connect on to here. So I've got my diagonal side cutters here. Um, so for now, let me just trim it kind of long. Okay, I know that's way too long. Here's the cap that needs to get screwed into here. So I'll just go ahead and fit this down in here. So that's good to go when I'm ready for that. There. Now, what I don't know is how much to feed this thing in here. 
let me just try this. Now what I could do is just go like that, give it a little extra. I guess it wouldn't be terrible to have a little extra. Here, let me do this. I'll snip it just a little more. There. Okay. Now while I'm holding that in tight, I'm going to make this connection up, hand tight, and then do the same technique where I cinch it up with this. Alright. I'm going to have to double wrench this. Let me just hold that top section there. I tighten the bottom section a little bit. Make sure it's good and tight. All right, and then I'll try to pull it apart with my hands, make sure that I'm good. It is not pulling apart. Now we can do a water test. All right, here we go. And there's the water. Let's let it burp out because it must have a little bit of an air gap in there. But that's what it was not doing before. All right, now everything's underwater. Uh, all of our work is underwater, so let's now do um, and see if there's any leaks in there. So let me reposition. All right, there's that connection, and just looking for any type of a water leak here at all uh, from the new work, just in case there's a connection that's bad or anything like that. Everything looks good. Everything here looks fine. I'm going to go ahead and put this. Uh, put this drawer back in call and this sections wrapped up just double check in this here make sure everything's fine there in case I came out with too much plastic when I was doing that but everything looks fine here okay here's everything on the back side looking for any water leaks and don't see anything everything looks good nothing on the top and just double checking on the bottom there's the line that we did right there. Let me just bring that down so we can see and verify that that connection is not leaking in any way. I don't see anything. I don't see anything at the threads. I don't see anything anywhere. I think we're totally good. So we can pretty much wrap this, the water section portion of the project up. Now I just want to use some compressed air just to blow out all the dust here on the refrigerator while I got it elevated. By the way, I just want to demonstrate how brittle this um, may have been. So this here is the line that I replaced. And I'm just curious here. Now I guess it's not as brittle as I thought. I thought it might just crack uh, if I just went like that, maybe on the other end. Nah, it's still got, it still just seems like it was okay. But um, I'm just glad I replaced it. This is how much tubing I got left over, which is all brand new. And this one here is, uh, it feels, it just feels like a, a lot better than this one here. So I just thought I'd show you that real quick. All right, so this is looking underneath the refrigerator. There's the condenser coil right there. And I just wanted to show you, before I blow it out with the air, how much dust is in there. And then I'll blow it out with the compressed air. I think that's insulation at the bottom. It looks like it's a layer of dust, but in reality, I think that's uh, just insulation. Yeah, right there. Along the, along the now, there's my little baby. There's my little baby air compressor underneath the workbench here, and uh, so I just uh, gonna turn this on and get it up to pressure.
while I'm waiting for the uh, air compressor to build up pressure, I uh, just used the garden hose and just washed off this uh, under under refrigerator vent vent hood. I'm not sure what to call it. Plastic. Anyway, so let's leave it out in the sun and let it dry, and go back and uh, blow out there some more. Now we want to put this back on, get a little light, and it's got to go on this way. Try to tuck everything in. Alright, so now I want to show you what the refrigerator looks like after I blew out that dust. And here you go. Let's see if I can show it to you 100%. So you can see that bottom section is in insulation and this is so I guess the coil I don't know I guess it wasn't that that bad I didn't see that much dust blow out but it certainly didn't hurt to blow it out while I while I had it out it's a little hard to see with the camera but anyways I tried to blow it out as best I could as you saw Okay, now that everything's blown out, we're gonna take this off of blocks. Now I got a helper, so I don't need to use the crowbar. We're just gonna, I'm just, he's got his foot on the other side. All right, you ready for me? Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay, and now we got it off the blocks and I can bring it back and push it back into place. Okay, so now that I've completely fixed all the stuff that I wanted to fix, the water line is fixed, I blew out the um, dust that was on the condenser because I, I rarely do that. Now what I would like to do is I want to push the refrigerator back into place. Now, the, you can see, come over here Mr. Cameraman so you can see this. See the power line and the water line? You can see how those lines are just sitting on the floor and if I was to just push the refrigerator back, it's very possible for those to get pinched. So what I've done is I've connected a string to the back, uh, to the center of these, the water line and the electric line. And let me just get that, that electric line so it's not wrapped around that valve. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna hold this like this. And what you should be able to see is that while I'm pushing this back into place, I'm, I'm making sure that the water lines and the electric line, both of them are not getting pinched. So that's why I did it this particular way. Let me get this in place, and I, can, and I keep adjusting this to make sure I'm not being pinched. And it's right about there. Then I just take the string, and I can just let the string go back there for another day. Okay, that wraps up this project, and the main job that we did today was we fix that water line. Now, as you know, this job cost me $3 at the Home Depot. What I'm really interested to know, and if you could leave your section, your comments uh, down below, I want to know, have, did you experience a water leak similar to this and hired a service technician? How much did that service technician charge you? And did they go the extra mile and blow out the dust or do any extras for you? Anything like that on the comments, please leave it below. Please click on like. Uh, could use as many likes as possible. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to my channel. I have a host of other videos for you to watch. And thank you for watching.